Headed into this weekend, I felt it was appropriate to start talking about potential NCAA tournament destinations for New Mexico State, especially coming off arguably the best basketball I've ever seen the Aggies play last weekend in a win at Grand Canyon. I'll admit, I even looked past today's opponent. Who didn't? Chicago State. They hadn't beaten NMSU in 17 tries. Before the game today, though, news dropping that the Aggies would be without Mario McKinney Jr., who's serving a suspension from an arrest earlier this week. Also without Johnny McCants. Starting forward, UAT Alock, sixth man, and reserve guard Nate Pryor. All those out with non-COVID-related illnesses. But this is Chicago State. I mean, you could trot out a manager or two and still survive this game, right? Well... WAC Player of the Year, Teddy Allen, he was playing, but see the score. Aggies are down by two under eight minutes to play. Allen short on the mid-range jumper. Take a look at the timeout ensuing. Chris Jans and Teddy Allen getting into it in the Aggies huddle. This is something that we've seen before this season. Star player and coach exchanging words on the sideline. Allen would sit. He would not return to the ball game. Under five minutes to play. That's Brandon Betson from the suburbs. Chicago stayed up three. But the answer, Jabari Rice, the one-time WAC player of the year. Corner pocket. Consider it nodded at 56. This one going down to the wire. Would be the biggest win in Chicago State history. Chicago State down three, but not folding. And the foul underneath. They would hit the free throw. Allen, all he can do is watch. That's the WAC player of the year, and he's on the bench in this scenario. Tied up, under 30 seconds to go. Rice straight to the rack, but blocked from behind, and the Cougars get the rebound. Chance for Chicago State, it's Betson. All of those off the window. Die the River Green. They're probably not going to do that in Chicago for a couple more weeks, but they might get an early start. Chicago State beats 23-win New Mexico State at home. This team had six wins coming into today. And they get arguably their biggest in program history here today. Christian speaking at the podium from their hotel in Chicago right now. I'd like to go listen to what he has to say, so let's get this over with. Wax standings. Where do we result? New Mexico State still in the driver's seat. They miss out on a chance to clinch a share earlier today. Seattle, Sam Houston, and Stephen F. Austin, who literally seconds ago just beat Abilene Christian on their heels. Stephen F. Austin will come here to Las Cruces on Wednesday, and then Utah Valley will close it up here at the Pan Am on Senior Day. Things getting a little bit tighter.